Hi, welcome to my house. We're on Buffalo's Upper West Side, and I'm here with my dog Choo Choo and a cat named Ziz, who you may or may not see in the shop. Um, what I want to do is show you where my internet comes from. So we've been talking about the internet and how things are connected together, how the internet consists of all this wired infrastructure that's used to hook up computers all over the world. And so um, here's an example of how that works at my home. Um, this is my internet right here. This is the cable that brings my internet into the house. Uh, this is uh, internet that's being run over infrastructure that was previously established to carry cable television. And that's pretty common. Uh, this comes in, it runs through what's known as a cable modem. That cable modem tran tra translates the signals that are received into uh, signals that can be used by my wireless router right here. And then the wireless router is, is how uh, we connect to the internet in my house. Um, one thing that's interesting to note is that these cables uh, that bring internet um, these, these cables that are used to run cable in, into cable modems are quite a bit different than the ones that we saw, the Cat5 cables that we saw before. These are not twisted pair. Um, instead, what I have is I have one cable bringing, I just have one wire in the middle of the cable, and that wire is surrounded by some sheathing, and then by this outer core of uh, wires here, these aren't carrying any signals. What they're doing is they're just there to shield the inner cable from any interference that might be caused uh, by nearby electronics. And what I've read is that this cable is a little bit better um, in certain applications uh, for uh, resisting interference. And so this is what we use for these type of, um, this is what the cable company uses to bring um, uh, internet to your house, okay? So let's follow this cable outside. She's just gonna come with us. So this cable exits my house right here. You can also see right next to it, there's another old form of wired infrastructure that's coming into my house, which is a telephone line. And that's another way that a lot of people get internet, we'll talk about in a second. So there are two wires that are gonna exit my house right here. Let's come outside and, and see. Let's follow them and see where they go. Okay, so those two cables exit the house over there. They run down the side of the house uh, and then they jump up and hit the roof. And from the roof, they're going to start here and you can see them running all the way across the street to that utility pole. This neighborhood, one of the many things I like about this neighborhood is this is a part of Buffalo where you can still see utility poles being used to bring in both power and various types of communication cables to people's homes. If you go just a couple of blocks to the east into the nicer part of town, most of this stuff is underground and you can't see it. But here we can actually put our eyes on it. So you see this cable coming over there, it hits that pole, and then from there it's gonna run along these utility poles to some sort of switching station uh, where it's gonna connect with other wires and so on, and that's sort of going to lead us closer and closer and further into the core of the internet itself. Um, so one thing that's interesting to notice here when we look at sort of residential internet connections is that in many cases they're coming across wires and down um, and using infrastructure that was not designed to carry the internet. So these two wires up here, one of them was run to my home so that I could have a telephone line, which I don't use anymore, uh, but I can use that for internet. The other one was run to my home so that I could have hundreds of uh, channels of cable television. And that's something that we don't have either, but we use it uh, to bring internet to the house as well. So a lot in the US, a lot of the internet that people uh, receive at home comes across lines and wires that were established to not necessarily to bring internet but to bring other things and that's one reason that we've been able to roll out internet in this country we had the infrastructure in place that we already built to do other things so this is the first step here we've sort of seen how the wire comes out of my house um, and then how it connects to um, other parts of the infrastructure that are going to lead us further into the core of the internet itself I want to snack on the food. <laughs> I want to snack on the food because I'm such a good dog. Okay. Um, you ready?